If you like the video, I promise the Splitgate servers will come back up, maybe. So I've been seeing a lot of people that are super intimidated by Splitgate, and that's mainly because of the portal mechanic that is something that we've never seen in any other classic FPS style games before. But the goal of today's video is just to show you guys the basics of portal mechanics and how portals work, and just some basic maneuvers and things you can do with portals to get around the map and just help you feel a little bit more fluid and in control when it comes to these things. That being said, I'm gonna be making a lot of Splitgate content going forward, so if you guys like the content if you enjoy the video and if you gain any type of value out of today's video consider subscribing if you're new around here and more importantly than anything like the video so that i know and my good old friends the youtube algorithm know that you like the video what we're going to do now is actually hop over to this nifty little thing called the training range i highly suggest you guys check out the training range to get your feet wet and split gate before you get into the matchmaking all right so here we are in the training range and basically behind me there's a firing range and you can kind of test out all of the guns here on the side you can pick up these guns take some shots of the bots back here etc whatever you want to do but we're not really focused on the firing range aspect of the game today we're more so focused on the portal mechanic now uh all of your keybinds are going to be different depending on if you're on a playstation xbox pc i myself am a pc player but basically the short end of it is this you have two portals you have a purple one and you have an orange one it does not matter which one you place first i can place the orange one down here if i like and the purple one up there all that matters is that you place both of them to create a wormhole, so to speak, or a gateway, a split gate. Now, when you walk up to the portal, you'll notice that when you look through, you're actually looking through what's up there. And it's a little bit blurry, but you'll still be able to see enemies and kind of shoot them through here if you want, but they'll be able to actually return fire through your portal. It'll look different on their screen. Enemy portals look different. Uh, they Most of the time they look red um, and they'll be able to do this. And you can see the tracers coming right back through the portal. So, so yes, you can shoot through the portals, but your enemies can also shoot through the portals back at you. And you notice as I walk up, it's a little bit blurry, but that blurriness goes away the second I cross the plane. And now we are actually up here on the wall. We were just down there. I know that can be a little bit trippy and disorienting for a lot of people. And trust me, it is. Now, if we wanted to, we can jump out up here or we could actually place another portal and we can keep our purple portal where we are right now up here. And we can place another portal, say on the other side with the orange portal. Because if we, if we threw the purple portal over there, we would close this and we would fall. But we'll throw the orange. We'll get rid of the orange portal that was down there. It's now up there. We can literally just turn around and look at it. We're looking at ourselves. Walk through slightly just to break that plane. And now we're up here. Same thing. Our purple portal is over there. I want to throw another purple portal over there. I don't want to close the one I'm in with the orange. So make sure you're pressing the right key bind for which portal you're placing. You're going to have to check in your, uh, your, your binds. Place it on the purple one over there. And now look. We're up here now and you can do that over and over again all day that is a concept called triple portaling slightly advanced technique but i figured it was the right place and time to show you that so now that we understand the basics of portaling and that basically it doesn't matter which order you place them in as long as you place two you will go through and boom right there and we can go right back through that same portal and come out right back down here doesn't matter the order we'll close up all the portals and uh, so say if I wanted to get up on this platform, there's an enemy up on this platform. There's a couple of different ways we can get up here. We can shoot one there. We can shoot one here. And we boom, 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 boom. But you'll notice we're kind of fumbling around a little bit. Like we maybe didn't get what we wanted to do. Another thing we can do. And if the, the enemy player is not paying attention up here, we can actually just do this. We can shoot a portal like right here shoot a portal right above the enemy and look down and shoot at him we can literally just peek the portal and shoot down at him or we can fly down and actually go for like a melee or an up close gunfight without getting too crazy you can clearly see that there's a lot of different things that you can do with portals there's a lot of different plays that can be made with portals the possibilities are are, are literally endless you can once you get good with this thing you can really just do some funky stuff and it, it's it's a very very unique mechanic something like we've never seen in any game before and it can get a very disorienting at first if you're not used to it but as you can see i'm kind of used to it so i'm doing weird stuff all, all the time running around and uh if you ever want to see me do any of this stuff twitch.tv slash luchi tv uh i've been doing some ridiculous stuff that even makes my mind kind of just go all over the place lately the second mechanic of portals that i want to show you guys is something called portal momentum now what that means is the momentum that you go through the portal with you come out the other side with so what that means is say if i want to go flying through the air I can place a portal right there. Now, let me just let me just get up here, okay? Let me just show you guys something. I'll show you. I'll, I'll make it easy. So, say if I want to go flying through the air, I could place a portal down here on that slightly slanted ramp, right? And then I can place a portal right there on the flat ground. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump through this orange portal and it's going to catapult me out that side over this guy right here. Let me show you. Boom. Right up to that guy. And that is the idea of portal momentum. Now you can do a lot of cool stuff with portal momentum and I encourage you to play around with it on different maps and different scenarios, but that's one example and arguably the most basic. Another thing that some people do is stuff like this. You place two portals back and back back right up basically right on the side of each other and you can gain a lot a lot of momentum and get really really high almost like a seesaw on these maps now is it the most you know efficient thing you're probably gonna get shot out of the sky yes but there's a lot of times on a map where you're stuck at the bottom and you can do stuff like this to get back up to the top and just kind of drop in on some unexpected angles for the enemy another example of a good thing to do with portal momentum is if you want to kind of fly over the cross section of the top of a map you can play something like there dive through to the lower part of the map fly right over the top place another one and look at that you, you can you can start to see where a lot of things can get very very complicated very fast but it, people are going to go nuts with this portal mechanic and the skill gap in this game is going to get ridiculous especially for like competitive and esports related it's going to be wild. So now that I've introduced you to the idea of portal mechanics and just basic portal mechanics, and hey, we're going to place a portal here. We're going to place the other one there. We're going to go through it. We know we're going to end up on the other side. Oh, want to go back? Perfect. Just go right back through the other side. Now that you know what portals do and how to use them, at least basically, and you understand portal momentum, how you can really gain some traction and speed going back and forth through these things, there's one thing that I also forgot to mention when it comes to portal basics. Your enemies and you can close enemy portals. So say this is an enemy portal, right? I have my button for grenades bound to G. Now the grenades don't do any damage in this game. I'll show you one right quick. They go pretty far though. And basically these are EMP blasts. Now it's not going to close because this is my portal. But if this were an enemy portal and you don't want to get flanked and you see the enemy trying to portal flank you basically, boom, you throw up EMP grenade. The portal is going to close and they're basically stuck where they are. Now, there's little to no portal um, cooldown, so they can just pop another one right back up. But by that point, you're expecting it. And if they pop another one and try to come through, you can pre-fire them through the portal. Because remember what I said, they can shoot you through portals. You can shoot them through portals. Example, watch. Want to see my tracers come out over there? Another thing to note when it comes to portals that as you can see with your portals, you can see through them. When it comes to your enemy's portals, they're basically going to look like this, but red. So you're not going to be able to see your enemies through the portals, even though they can see you. You will get your reticle that you see on the screen, like basically your crosshair. It will light up red if there's an enemy on the other side of that. And that kind of gives you the indication to shoot. Um, or you can just pre-fire it, whatever it is, it's up to you. But just know that you will not be able to see your port, your enemy portals like this. This is only for you. If it's an enemy portal, you're not going to have any vision to the other side. You can go through it. You can go through enemy portals and they can come through yours, but you're basically going in blind. Also, one bonus tip when it comes to enemy portals, when an enemy is in their portal trying to look out at you, basically, if they're doing, if they're doing this, an enemy, and they're looking through their portal right about here, I'm not sure how far or how many meters the distance is back. I want to say it's about right here. But if an enemy is here, you will know that you'll get an audio cue from the enemy portal that they're about to come through. You'll hear it. You'll know that someone is aiming through a portal trying to shoot at you. So just something to think about. Now, the last idea I want to talk to you guys about that I kind of skipped over because I'm kind of all over the place and that's my apologies is the idea of closing your portals behind you to stop enemies chasing you through your portals and to stop enemies from shooting through your portals and using them against you. Now, say if I have an enemy chasing me from behind, he's coming around the corner. I want to get away from him. I go through my portal. Well, there's nothing stopping me from him just walking through my portal or shooting through it as I go through it except the fact that you can manually close your portals just like that you've probably been seeing me do it the entire game uh, but i just want to let you know that that is a thing and basically all it is is you have two separate keybinds or controller buttons for opening portals and you have a corresponding button for closing each portal now say i don't want to close the purple one i want to close the orange one i use the other keybind and it closes the orange one so close that one orange one close that one you have an individual key bind or button bind to close each of the color portals and that is basically it for portal basics when it comes to split gate i hope you guys are a little less confused when it comes to portaling and doing all this crazy stuff and i hope that with this video it just gave you a little bit more confidence going into your next match of split gate 
that you'll be able to use the portal somewhat effectively and not feel like a bot running around any of these arena style fast paced shooter maps if there's anything i missed and anything you think i can do better for the tip videos that are coming in the future be sure to let me know other than that if you enjoyed today if you got some type of value out of the content that was presented to you please 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 like the video you know how much it helps i hope you guys have been loving splitgate as much as i have we got more splitgate videos coming very very soon so please feel free to drop a comment down below what do you want to see we need to know also we've been streaming monday through friday about 6 30 7 a.m eastern till about 1 or 2 p.m in the afternoon so feel free to stop by the twitch link is in the description below i'll see you guys in the next one